Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and I'm back here in Manhattan, and I'm craving one thing and one thing only today bagels. Sorry if you kind of hear a bit of a frog in my voice. Uh, I'm a little bit under the weather, but mostly good, so I'm good enough to film. Now, we're here to eat bagels here in New York City today, and there's tons of great bagel joints in New York. There's the most famous Essa bagel. There's my personal favorite, Best Bagel and Coffee. But lately, everyone is saying that none of the original good bagel places are the best. Everyone is saying that the new kid on the block, Pop-Up Bagel, which popped up just a few months ago here in New York is the best bagel in New York right now. That's what they're saying. Or that's at least what social media is saying, at least if you trust Instagram and TikTok. Now, interestingly, we're in a food mecca, Greenwich Village, but interestingly, pop-up bagel is originally from Greenwich, Connecticut. Apparently, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the owner and founder of Pop-Up Bagel, he was bored, so he had a pandemic hobby of making bagels, and he decided to have a pop-up store in his garage. And the bagels were excellent, they took off, and now he has multiple locations in Connecticut. And just a few months ago, he opened one not only in Greenwich, Connecticut, but now in Greenwich Village. So you know he's really making his way up. Now, I'm not usually a big fan of all the social media hype places, but this this pop-up bagel place I really want to try because the story really resonates with me. During the pandemic, I was social distancing, I had tons of free time, indoors I was idle, so I decided to make a channel and to record myself eating food. And it went from a fun hobby to here we are, 20,000 subscribers and a nice little side hustle. Maybe even a main hustle someday. So hearing the story of pop-up bagels, a pandemic side hustle turned main hustle, that's a really cool story and I really resonate with it. So let's go check out this pop-up bagel place and see if it's worth the hype. Let's see if it's just TikTok famous or if it's the new best bagel in New York. Let's go check it out. Now, before we continue with the rest of the video, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a fantasy RPG, turn-based RPG, and let me tell you, the graphics of this game Really, really nice. Now, I personally love exploring these fantasy worlds and fighting knights and demons and goblins and things like that. One of my favorite enemies is the Hydra. The Hydra is a boss battle that's basically six boss battles in one. You gotta fight the Head of Blight with his poison attacks, the Head of Torment who strikes fear into your champions, the Head of Mischief who steals all your buffs, the Head of Wrath, a super angry damage dealer, the Head of Decay who wears down your team, while building up its team, and the Head of Suffering, where every time you attack it, you take damage yourself. Now, new players can get their hands on Stagnite, one of the best epic champions around, as well as a skin design for Stagnite by Jontron. All you gotta do is use promo code JTSKIN before October 7th. Do you want a free legendary champion? How about the legendary Monkey King, Sun Kong? All you gotta do to get the Monkey King is to log into Raid on seven different days between August 22nd and October 23rd. Download Raid today by clicking the link in the description or scan the QR code. You'll get insane bonuses like the epic champion Talia and other useful things like energy refills, skill tomes, and XP boosters. Once again, click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to download Raid Shadow Legends today. And now, back to our video. Oh, you asked me. Thank you. All right, so we just got our bagels from Pop-Up Bagel, and the line actually got pretty long after we stepped into it. At first, we were lucky. It was just a few people, but now uh, suddenly it got really long, and it's lunchtime. I wouldn't think that's a peak time for bagels, but I guess this place is pretty popular. The morning must be even more intense. Let's find somewhere to eat these. Everyone says that the tip is you got to eat them right away, so let's find somewhere to sit and eat.
All right, luckily we found a spot not too far away. We don't want to go too far. Everyone says that we need to eat these bagels ASAP because you got to eat them piping hot. But it was a challenge because we needed to find like a park bench, but it's also boiling hot today. It's August, so it's like got to be at least 90 degrees. So let's lose this hoodie, why don't we? But luckily we found a nice shaded spot right by this tennis court. So let's take a look at our TikTok famous pop-up bagels. Ooh, wow, let me tell you, these bagels are literally piping hot. Ooh, like fresh out of the oven. Ooh, they're literally hot to the touch. So there's three bagels they offer here. They offer everything bagels, and these look really generously sprinkled with poppy seeds, sesame seeds. I forget what else is on an everything bagel, but you know, this looks really generous. It really is everything they have on it. And then they have some, ooh, this one's even hotter. They have some salt bagels as well. You know, I was never a big fan of salt bagels. I always felt like salt bagels were basically pretzels in disguise. So I've never really been a fan of salt bagels. And then last but not least, one of my favorites, poppy seed. You know, poppy seed bagels have always been my favorite. I know some people really don't like poppy seeds, but I'm a big fan. These have been unfairly making people not pass their employment screenings for decades, but they're so tasty. I guess let's just take a bite out of the everything bagel, just straight up without any cream cheese. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if it's, I'm gonna be able to show you, but these are some fluffy, spongy bagels. But just look at how soft and pillowy and spongy these bagels are. Instagram and TikTok did not lie. I mean, sometimes I wonder if they're just playing with editing and camera angles or if the restaurant is in cahoots with them. But just look at how pillowy and fluffy these bagels are. It says something that they don't even cut them in half. They just give you the whole thing whole and I guess you just eat it straight up and you just dip it straight up. Mmm. Mmm. And you know, I think even these everything bagels are salted. So I don't know if you can see, like they might be hidden amongst all the other toppings, but they do have some salt kernels on them. So even these everything bagels are, you know, they've got some nice pleasant saltiness that really balances out with the rest of the dough and the other toppings. But let's try this fluffy bagel with a smear, why don't we? Scallion, plain, and cacio e pepe basically like a butter cheese pepper and garlic pasta let's try the plain one first because the plain one will really be a litmus test for how the smears are in their base form wow look at this smear let me see if i can find some better lighting yeah let's bring it into the light it almost looks like vanilla ice cream rather than cream cheese and they say the way to do this is just to dip it with the hot bagel All right, let's try the smear. And in this case, it's like literally smeared, like the way you dip it. It's not sliced and then applied on the inside. Mmm. Mmm. The smear is good. It's very rich, buttery, creamy. One of the better cream cheeses I've had. To be honest, at the end of the day, it is still cream cheese though. It's a little bit thick. I mean, I wonder if there's a way they can make it a little bit creamier, a little bit more smooth. It is a little bit hard to dip it, to be honest. And it's also, maybe it doesn't help that it's a little bit on the cold end. Like I get it, they can't make these go bad. So they're kind of refrigerated, which makes sense. But because they're colder, they're not as easy to dip. It's a good cream cheese. Probably one of the better ones I've had, but to go with these kinds of bagels, I would say that they still need it to be a little bit creamier and the temperature is a little bit cold, but I'm not sure if there's much they can do about that. Maybe I'll change my mind after eating another classic flavor. Let's try a flavored one. Let's try, let's try scallion. I see some real chunks of scallion in there, although not quite as generous as some other bagel shops I've been to, but don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, once again, they're just really hard to dip, to be honest. Okay, that looks good. Hmm. Hmm. It's good, but that's not one of the better scallion cream cheeses I've had. It kind of just tastes like the normal cream cheese with just some scallions thrown in it. Like, it's not so much like the scallions are really infused in the flavor, if you know what I mean. So yeah, as you can see, 
there are some sporadic scallions in there, but it's not super generous with the scallion. And yeah, I don't know, it could be better. I've had better scallion cream cheeses, including from some of my favorite bagel places like Essa Bagel, as well as Best Bagel and Coffee. So the scallion cream cheese, not my favorite. Not bad, but not great. And lastly, let's try the Cacio e Pepe. Sorry, I'm not Italian, nor have I ever taken Italian, so I'm sorry for butchering the pronunciation of that. Cacio e Pepe, let's give it a try. Now this one is like extremely dense and cold and hard. It pretty much is like ice cream. It's almost like I they should have given me like an ice cream scooper or something. I gotta like shave pieces off. All right, now this one is really well reviewed, so this is like their superstar. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that is, that is incredible. Guys, these other two cream cheeses, the scallion, the plain, they're solid, but nothing too special. But this cacio e pepe spread, oh my goodness. This is hands down the most unique and creative bagel spread flavor I've ever had. It just really tastes like an authentic cacio e pepe in your mouth. Like you don't just get that fresh butter flavor. You also get that really fresh pecorino romano flavor and that fresh grated parmesan flavor, which I didn't think that you could really have come across in like a spread. To be honest, there are black pepper pieces in it, but I don't really taste the black pepper that much to be honest. And that freshly ground black pepper flavor should reign supreme as well. I don't really taste it, but you know, maybe it plays like a support role, like an essential support role. You know, like in basketball, like your sixth man, like your Lamar Odoms and your Robert Ories. They may not get the fame and the big paycheck, but they're instrumental to championship success. But man, that Cacio e Pepe, honestly, next time, don't get one of each spread, just get all three spreads, get this, cause you're gonna really wanna eat this. But to be honest, this spread is amazing, but these bagels are just so warm and so soft that the best way to eat them is still just straight up. Like that's how you know something is good, that you don't want any spreads or sauces or any accompaniments with them really. You just want to eat the bagel itself. So... Beautifully seasoned poppy seed, nice and soft pillowy dough. Mmm. Mmm. Now, I gotta be honest, that one was not as good as it looked mostly because these poppy seed ones really are lacking salt. For some reason, they only salted the everything one and I'm gonna presume the salt bagel. The poppy seed one is literally just bagel and poppy seed and I really do think that they should have at least salted it a little bit. This one, you definitely wanna pair it with a spread because this one without that salt, it's gonna taste very dry. You know, a mouthful of poppy seed, it's not really that pleasant without salt and without some extra moisture from a spread, so. Last, but potentially least, is a salt bagel. Once again, I'm not a big fan of salt bagels. I call them pretzels in disguise, but these are some beautiful looking salt crystals. So, let's see how this compares with my favorite pretzels. Mmm. Oh, this salt one is really good. Mmm. Obviously, this is gonna be the king of common sense statements, but obviously don't get this if you don't like salty food. Don't get this if you don't like things to taste overly salty, like if you don't like pretzels with those big kernels of salt on them. But if you like salty food, man, it's just like a great pretzel. It's doughy and fluffy, and it's got that nice sort of like bread pull when you have like a good slice of pizza or a great freshly baked piece of bread, like that great chew and that great texture and that great give to it. The salt crystals really help to offset the doughiness of the bread, make it taste not too dry, uh, not too doughy. Oh man, I love pretzels, and I still don't take back what I said, that salt bagels are basically secretly pretzels but I don't care because I love pretzels. And now I have a round pretzel, so. Mm. Oh, I love this. But anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I've heard so much about pop-up bagels and it's been really hyped up for a long time. In Connecticut, it's all the rage, but it really means something if an outside chain is able to come here to New York City, Greenwich Village too, of all places, and really take over. Now, of course, like all the restaurants we review, we had to find out if that long line was legit due to its quality or if it was just social media hype and 
everyone else just going through the motions. But I gotta say guys, this place pop-up bagels, I gotta say it's very, very good. Is it the best bagel I've ever had? I don't know guys, it's definitely top three. Probably top two to be honest. I mean, it just depends on what you want. I mean, if you want a standard, your standard formula, a sliced bagel in the middle with cream cheese in the middle. In that case, yeah, I think I probably prefer Essa bagel and best bagel and coffee if I prefer to eat a bagel with a spread on the inside with some nice even bites of spread throughout. But guys, in terms of the bagel itself, just eating the bagel straight up, yeah, I gotta say it, Connecticut, you kicked New York's butt this time. Just the bagel itself, yes, pop-up bagel, I would say, is the best bagel I've ever had. But depending on my mood, I'm gonna say top two. I'm either gonna want Essa bagel or best bagel and coffee maybe, or I'm gonna want pop-up bagel, depending on what I'm in the mood for that day. But anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. It's getting a little bit hot out, even in the shade. So we're gonna finish eating our bagels and then we're gonna hit the road. If you've been to pop-up bagel before, either in Connecticut or the new one in New York City, let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. And also let me know what your favorite bagel place is. Let me know in the comments for sure. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. Until next time, I'll see you later.